In the name of Allah, the most beneficial and merciful. It's pleasure for me to be the part of 4th International Conference of Biosciences, ICBS 2021. First of all, I'm very thankful to all of you to bear me. And secondly, I'm thankful to the organizers of ICBS 2021 to give me the opportunity to present these research findings. So the title of this presentation is the upshot of folic acid in physiological activities of coriandum sativum under drought. So the contributor are Muhammad Jamal Khan and Shakila Ahmed that have a association with the Institute of Botany, University of Punjab, Kardiazan Campus, Lahore. So, according to the global scenario of the world, most of the region faced acute shortage of water. And these regions are comprised of Asia and Africa. So, as far as concerned with our lovely country, Pakistan is also faced a water stressed condition. According to the researchers, in 2014, Pakistan is the water-stressed country of the world. So the, on the basis of these uh, circumstances or uh, with respect to the future perspective, we should prepare your, ourselves to generate a drought tolerance varieties. So for this purpose, we choose a drought susceptible plant that is very common in use in everyone's house, that is coriandum sativum, and we enhance its tolerance, drought tolerance, with the help of vitamin B9, that is folic acid. Or we can say that this is a, a, a growth, we use it as a growth regulator. So uh, here we have the scheme of material and methods. We conduct this uh, study during the season 2019 to 2020. Uh, we obtained a certified uh, seed of coriandum sativum from uh, uh, Vegetable Research Institute of Ag Ayub Agriculture Research Institute, Faisalabad. Uh, that variety is the Dilpazir. We use three irrigation level, IR100, IR75, and IR50. And uh, we use a 15 millimolar uh, concentration of uh, folic acid. So the benchmark for the next irrigation will be the 50% of the field capacity with respect to the control. So with respect to control, we provide 75% uh, and 50% uh, replenishment to the uh, other uh, parts of our experiment. <clears throat> so for this purpose, the soil water content will be determined by gravimetric uh, method. So after uh, providing uh, stressed according to the set criteria, we provide the foliar application of uh, folic acid with the interval of 10 days, three times. So our main objective is to uh, have a concern with the physiological features of the coriandum sativum. So we use chlorophyll meter, uh, we use irga, uh, irga, that is infrared grass analyzer. We use a uh, pressure chamber for water potential uh, and we measure uh, photosynthetic rate, uh, transpiration rate, stomatal conductance, and the leaf water potential uh, and relative water content. For statistical analysis, uh, analysis preferably ANOVA, uh, we use a software statistics 8.1 for coefficient of variance, standard error for the means and the least significant difference. So the results of uh, this trial reveal that uh, the uh, coriandum uh, sativum plant that exposed to different uh, uh, level of drought significantly decreased the physiological activities. So this study revealed that the, uh, that the irrigation level at 50% or IR50 is the most effective drought level to reduce the physiological activities of uh, non-treated folic acid plants. So, uh, furthermore, uh, on the count of uh, drought stress, 
at uh, IR15 and IR75, uh, the photosynthetic decrease from uh, 55 to 10%. At both levels, then the rate of transpiration decreases from uh, 10 to 15 percent, and then uh, chlorophyll content that decreases from 16 to 40 percent, and the stomatal conduction uh, decreases 22 to 43 percent in uh, this trial. Uh, similarly, the water. Similarly, after the foliar application of uh, folic acid all these parameters improved and the photosynthetic rate increased from 89 to 76 percent then transpiration rate increased from 91 to 30 percent and uh, the stomatal conductance increased from 87 to 53 percent and the chlorophyll content increase uh, 40 percent at IR 75 and IR 50. The plant leaf water potential and the relative water content decreased due to onset of drought. So the water potential decreased uh, to 44 percent at IR 75 and 42 percent at IR 50 as compared to the control that is IR 100 non-stressed plant. So on the other side the foliar application of uh, folic acid enhance all described physiological parameters even in the case of extreme or high level of drought. So it increased for uh, uh, photosynthetic rate near about 89 percent to 76 percent then transpiration rate increased from 91 to 13 percent then the chlorophyll content increased 87 to 53 percent and uh, and all these features increase at uh, I, uh, IR 75 and IR 50 so as far as concerned with the water potential folic acid also improved the leaf water potential from 55 percent at IR 75 and 32 percent at IR 50 with respect to their non-treated folic acid plant. So all these evidence supported the increase in relative water content uh, within the coriandum sativum at IR 100, IR 75 and IR 50 from 3% to 6% to 26%. So it means that all the physiological parameters after the application of folic acid improved. So the ANOVA indicates that uh, the main effect of irrigation level and the main effect of folic acid and the interaction between the folic acid and irrigation level have a very significant effect on the gases exchange and the physiological activities of coriandum sativum. From this experiment, from it revealed that the 75% irrigation level with respect to the field capacity is a very effective and good level for, for the uh, growth of uh, coriandum sativum. So, as far as concerned with the, uh, the application of folic acid uh, at this level, it enhances all the physiological parameters. So we can say that uh, in conclusion that folic acid improved the gaseous uh, exchange uh, properties. So this study uh, opened a new way uh, for the researchers uh, to do research at periotome and cross, uh, transcriptome levels that is necessary for the evaluation of molecular pathway of drought tolerance that is produced by the folic acid in coriandum sativum. This is the poster presentation that we submitted in ICBS 2021. That's all about for this presentation. Thank you to all.